cape Yo guys, what is going on? It is Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and if you think about it, that song is that song is kind of ironic, actually. It says, "Don't worry about a thing," but I mean, your Padres are in the playoffs. Isn't that what you're supposed to do as a fan? Is to worry and wonder if your team can go all the way and win the World Series? Well, anyways, that's just a thought. Um, yeah, today we got the uh, playoff preview, and you saw it first here. Your Padres are taking on the Washington Nationals in the 2015 NLDS, and you can see here the um, GM rating has been bumped up to a B. We did reach the postseason. We have not clinched a pennant yet, so that is yet to be uh, checked off. But uh, yeah, we're just going through the standings here, and I really want to take my time with this video. You can see that it's uh, a little over eight minutes, and yeah, we're just going to be looking at everything, uh, the Nationals, their team, the standings, as you can see. Your Padres finished with 90 wins. Um, I have to say, I, I was expecting this a little bit, but um, it, it really just did work out. I was maybe thinking, okay, maybe a wild card, maybe we win the division, and we did. We had 90 wins, um, not the most out of all the teams. In fact, the Mets, the um, NL wild card winner, would have won the division. But anyways, um, we get 90 wins. American League leader in wins, the Red Sox, the National League leader wins, the Milwaukee Brewers. So we're just taking a look here at the Nationals, and this rotation is godly. Steven Strasburg, Jordan Zimmerman, Max Scherzer. I mean, Gio Gonzalez probably won't even get a start here in the playoffs just because he's the four, or the fifth guy, and they're only going to have a four-man rotation. That is ridiculous. I have to say, though, as good as their starting pitching is, their bullpen could be their biggest weakness. You can see aside from uh, maybe Craig Stammen and AJ Cole, they're a little weak there. So uh, right now we're just going through, look at these guys. Eric Hosmer, Bryce Harper, Ryan Zimmerman, Ian Desmond, they got Brian Dozier, they, they got everyone, man. They No wonder they did so well. Um, they actually overtook the Mets in the NL East. The Mets were doing very well at the second half, or at the start of the second half. And the Washingtons had a Washington Nationals had a better second half, and what do you know? They won the division. So yeah, I have to say that if we can get their starting pitching to maybe not go as long as they would like to, maybe allow them to go five, maybe six innings, and get into that bullpen early. One, it's going to tire them out because they don't have that many players in the bullpen, and two, in general, their bullpen is not that great. So even if they weren't tired, they still wouldn't be that great. But to make them tired would really help our cause. So. I, I really don't know what to expect of this series. Uh, these are two pretty evenly matched teams um, on different on different sides, though. The the Padres aren't really known for their great pitching. Uh, they're known for clutchness. Um, I guess they have a pretty solid team. There's no one star on this Padres team. They just kind of all do it together as a team, which is what you're supposed to do in baseball. It's a team game. So uh, here's our rotation. I think we're going to put Noah Syndergaard in the bullpen just because I want him to play, obviously, but I don't know if he's going to get a chance to um, enter the rotation. Since it's probably going to be cut down to a four-man rotation. But like I said, I do want to play him. You see, um, Despondi really had a tough year, 0-2. Um, just didn't really look sharp at all. Uh, but Sean Kelly, uh, even Dale Thayer didn't look bad. But Nick Vincent, all those three just looked phenomenal. Nick Vincent made the All-Star game. And, of course, Craig Kimbrell, the closer. So I really do not know what to make of this series. Um, obviously, the Nationals have strengths in all areas. Mainly, they're starting pitching because they have um, three starters that are 95 overall plus. And... Even Doug Fister, their fourth starter, is at 87 overall. So um, it's going to be tough to score runs. Sometimes the Padres have these games where they don't really, you know, they don't really, they just can't get anything going. They don't score. They don't hit. They don't do anything. And that's what's worrying me a little bit here. Aside from Justin Upton, Matt Kemp, Will Myers, I don't know. Yonder Alonso has gotten hot. Um, Will Middlebrooks, I mean, yeah. Nobody really, like, stood out to me on this Padres team. Matt Kemp was hitting over 300 at a point, but now he's not. It's basically him, Upton, Myers, and even um, Yonder Alonso. But uh, yeah, I, I, I just, the question is, can the Padres' bats overcome the Nationals' pitching? I think that's really the key here. And like I said, if we can get into their bullpen and early and make them tired each and every game, then, you know, we have a decent chance. So here is the bracket for the world, or for the playoffs. 
Yankees win the wildcard game in the AL against the Houston Astros. They will be taking on the Red Sox. That'll be a good series. Then you got the Angels and the Tigers in the NL. The Mets won the wild card against the Cardinals and will be playing the Milwaukee Brewers. Meanwhile, you have the Padres and the Nationals. So uh, predictions here. I'm going to go with Detroit over Los Angeles. I want to go with uh, Boston over New York. And in the NL, I think I want to go with your Padres. I really don't want to be too biased in this, um, but here's the reason why. I think your Padres have, what I said, is a really, really good, solid team game. Their bullpen is pretty good for the most part. Their starting pitching isn't amazing compared to the Nationals, but it is, it is good enough, I think. And they just always seem to just kind of come together when it counts and play a very good, solid type of baseball. And I think that's what's going to propel them over the Nationals. Now, I could definitely be wrong. This Nationals team is stacked. Um, they only, what do they have, three more wins than us, four more wins than us? It, it doesn't matter. I, I think that once you enter the playoffs, it's just about how your team is built. And I think this Padres team, even though it's not stacked, they're a very good team game. They play a very good team game. And I think that's what you need in the playoffs to survive the divisional series, the, the championship series, even the World Series. You need to go through those three rounds and... To do that, you need some solid team play. Um, Matt Kemp was in the playoffs a little bit with the Dodgers. Justin Upton was in there a little bit with the Braves. Same with Craig Kimbrell. Uh, Will Myers, uh, did he have a stint with the Rays? I believe he did against the Red Sox a couple years ago. Um, but some of these guys on the Padres have not seen the playoffs for a while. So I think this could go, I think it will go, the full five games here in the NLDS between these two teams. Um, I, I think that... I, there's no gonna. It's not gonna be a clear winner. Whoever loses in this series is gonna. It's gonna be a tough loss because both of these teams deserve to move on to the NLCS. Um, as far as the other series goes, uh, Brewers and Mets. The Mets are a good team, but I just think they ran into a tough team. The Brewers are a very good team. You saw that last episode. They destroyed the Padres. Uh, so I think Brewers are moving on to the NLCS, and I don't know, guys. It's really tough. You see here, um, Drew Storen, the closing pitcher for the Nationals. It's not amazing, but. He's not in there, which is why the uh, backup closing pitcher is in there. But, I mean, I don't know, guys. This is a really tough call. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. I really think that your Padres have a chance. But like I said, whoever loses this series, it's just going to be a tough loss. Both these teams have had a very good season, especially for the Padres coming back on top of their division. I'm really excited. Next episode is Game 1 of the NLDS between the Padres and the Washington Nationals. Hope you guys enjoyed this playoff preview. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and peace!